Scientists and engineers often look to the natural world to find inspiration. The honeycomb design is only one example of this, but an important one. Both strong and lightweight, honeycomb is an important element within the aerospace industry. Here at the National Air and Space Museum, there are plenty of artifacts that use the honeycomb. While our giant NASA full-scale wind tunnel fan is not made of honeycomb, the wind tunnel at the Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia relied on honeycomb to control wind turbulence while testing aircraft. The honeycomb design is lightweight but very strong, making it ideal for aircraft design. Using a honeycomb shape increases the strength of a part while keeping it lightweight. In modern aircraft, it is usually made of aluminum. As you walk through the museum, you can see many modern aircraft, but you may wonder where the honeycomb is. It can't be seen because it's found in between walls of the aircraft and through the wing. The Rattan Voyager is constructed almost entirely of lightweight composite honeycomb materials. During its record-setting flight, one of the wings was damaged. Inside the crack, you can see the honeycomb composite. Perhaps one of the most famous uses of honeycomb in aerospace in our collection is the Apollo 11 command module. The module built in the 1960s uses an aluminum honeycomb sandwich bonded between sheet aluminum alloy. The base of the module consisted of a heat shield made of brazed stainless steel honeycomb filled with an epoxy resin which served as an ablative material which burned away upon re-entry, keeping the astronaut safe inside. When visiting the command module, look closely and you can see the honeycomb pattern burned on the bottom of it. NASA still relies on honeycomb while designing its new spacecraft. If you look at the James Webb Space Telescope, you'll notice that its primary mirror is a giant honeycomb.